Hi family, welcome to the Luck Moms channel. My name is the Luck Mom Deborah Nyanchoka. I'm an ex housemaid of Saudi Arabia and I create awareness of what happens in the Middle East. Uh, there's a story of a, a gentleman by the name Jamal. Jamal, uh, uh, two ladies were fighting over him. One was a Dalala and another one was a Kimboi. Uh, so Adalala sprayed acid on a Kimboi and she ended up dying. You know very well the story of Maskim. And then uh, this Dalala who sprayed the acid by the name Sheila, she's in prison. Uh, Jamal was taken to the hospital. He didn't recover well. And then he was taken back uh, after hospital. He was uh, taken to jail. He had not uh, recovered well. If you understand the acid case, the story of the acid case, I shared this story here. Uh, Jamal is the man you see in the middle, in the middle of those two ladies. So it's so emotional and very painful <clears throat> because these three people, they were Kenyans. And uh, it happened now that Jamal, after taken, to the, after taken from the hospital immediately, he got arrested. But I have heard that his hand, his hand has just rotten and he's in jail. He needs help. We can't judge him right now because of what happened. But it's it's really a painful case. But it's sometimes it's also a lesson to men working in the Middle East. Uh, we've been talking about ladies in working in the Middle East for some time. But also, it's also another uh, painful case for men working in the Middle East. Those men, you, you leave your family at home. <clears throat> you go to the Middle East to look for green pastures. And then you find that uh, you start engaging in relationships. People should understand that prostitution is prohibited in the Middle East all over. It's prohibited. Those people are doing it. They are just doing it uh, in a shortcut way. In a shortcut way. Let me say like that. So when this man uh, engaged in this relationship with these two ladies, they, it caused death. And now he's just suffering in jail. He's very sick. His hand is rotten, and now, uh, let me say, uh, friends, anybody who might be watching this, uh, maybe there's somebody somewhere, a destiny helper for him, who will rescue him from this jail of Saudi Arabia, and maybe brought back to Kenya so that he can get medical attention. It should be a lesson to men working in the Middle East that once you have left your family back in uh, your country, just concentrate on what took you there. When we share this information, it doesn't mean that we are perfect. But it's good to save a life. It's good to save a life of a friend. So this is uh, the reason why I've decided to share this. I don't know where the destiny helper will come from. But I know he will come. So uh, let's share this video at least. Jamal might get help. But let it be a lesson to men working in the Middle East. If you have gone there for green pastures, do what you took you there. Avoid this store of Kemboi and Dalalas. These are Kemboi's and Dalalas. They make themselves available for men. And they bring temptation which cause death. If you don't know who is a Dalala, this is a, she was once a maid. She ran away from the boss, got married in quotes. And now she has a house where he she hosts Kemboys. Kemboys are those uh, made to run away. They don't have papers. The main difference is that a, a Dalala hosts a Kemboy and they, both of them, they don't have papers. So uh, a Dalala is more advanced Kemboy. So like Sheila, who sprayed the acid, was just an advanced Kemboy. She hosts ladies. But right now she's in jail in Saudi Arabia waiting for... <clears throat> the decision of Masi's family. If they agree that she should be uh, forgiven because she is already serving a death sentence in Saudi Arabia. So ladies, be very careful. Do what took you there in Saudi Arabia. Meanwhile, you can watch the, this emotional clip of Jamal. With all the respect, Your Excellency, Ruto, our Kenyan president, 
Your Excellency Mike Mbovisonko. Your Excellency Alfred Mutua. We need justice for Jamal. Huyu ni Jamal ambaye aliweza kuchomwa na acid pamoja na marehemu dada yetu Masi. Jamal is going through a lot. Jamal aliweza kushikwa na serikali ya Saudi, wamemfungia wamemweka jela, hawampati medicine, hawampeleki hospitali. As we talk sahi Jamal mkono wake inaelekea kuoza. You can imagine our Kenyan government. Our embassy in Saudi Arabia. Jamal mkono wake inaelekea kuoza. Jamal is an orphan. Jamal ni yatima. Jamal hana mama. Jamal hana baba. Kama wazazi wake wangekuwa wangeweza kupitisha kilio chao kwa serikali yetu ya Kenya. Lakini Jamal wazazi wake hawapo. Walitangulia kitambo. The only thing tungependa sisi kama wana Gulf ama wana Saudi. Kama Jamal ako na makosa, tungependa serikali yetu iweze kumchukua Jamal na kama ni kumuhukumu ni afadhali amuhukumu akiwa Kenya au kumiwe na koti ya Kenya Jamal mkono wake inaoza tulijaribu kuzungumza na agency yake ambayo ni Abdal Recruitment Agency The agency they were asking for money ndio waweze kumtoa Jamal pale jela Sisi tukaenda kwa police station tukajaribu kuuliza kuna any information nimepata kutoka kwa agent Polisi wakatuambia agency hawana authority ya kumtoa Jamal hapa. So the only thing we need we need help we need support from our Kenyan government. Tungependa bottom up ianze na Jamal. Our president you promised us bottom up. Tungependa ianze Saudi Arabia we are tired of taking the bodies of our sisters home while they are dead we are not going to wait until Jamal is dead Kenyan government Mike Sonko Alfred Mutua our Saudi embassy we need justice for this guy tusiongojee mpaka Jamal atuache ndio tuweze kuanza kuchanga kupeleka mli wake nyumbani we are tired of going mochari.